Icosanoids are strongly involved in mediating inflammation. Therefore, all icosanoid inhibitors work as anti-inflammatory agents. Starting from the early step in the icosanoid production pathway, corticosteroids, specifically the glucocorticoids, interfere with the phospholipase A2 enzyme. Therefore, interfering with the production of almost all types of inflammatory icosanoids. Indeed, glucocorticoids are a broad spectrum of anti-inflammatory agents with a wide range of biological effects. But unfortunately, they have a wide range of notorious side effects. The non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, abbreviated as NSAIDs, unselectively inhibit both COX-1 and COX-2 isoenzymes. Remember, glucocorticoids are steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, whereas COX inhibitors are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. NSAIDs inhibit the production of all prostanoids, including prostaglandin, thromboxane and prostacycline. It is clinically important to note that the blockage of prostaglandin production pathways by NSAIDs direct more arachidonic acid toward leukotriene production, which negatively affect asthmatic patients. The relatively new selective COX-2 inhibitors have no effect on COX-1. Therefore, they don't interfere with thromboxane production. Going to leukotriene pathways, you'll notice that the drug Zoluton interferes with 5-lipooxygenase enzyme, thus inhibiting the production of all inflammatory leukotrienes. Finally, Zephylucas and Montelukas drugs are selective competitive inhibitors of leukotrienes C4, D4 and E4 receptors. This video was narrated by Alexandra Daniela, King's College London, KCL University.